Well, I'm Rachel White. I'm a licensed counselor and I'm the founder of Her Song. And um, we are an agency that's working to interrupt the trafficking cycle here in Jacksonville and lead women to freedom. Um, I felt called to this work in 2013. I had just been praying and seeking the Lord, you know, on the direction for my life, and I was finishing up graduate school. Um, and I knew that God had something for me. I just didn't know what that was. And He used a story on a radio. Um, I was listening to the radio, and this young lady was telling her story about how she was actually groomed for trafficking by her family. And I had a really hard time wrapping my mind around that, but we're actually finding that familial trafficking is very common. Um, but I listened to her story, and I listened to her redemption story, um, and it was so powerful to me. I, it just gripped me. I couldn't, I couldn't let it go. I couldn't sleep. Um, I was very disturbed. My husband thought, what is going on with you? You know, I've never seen you like this. But God was really working on my heart, and, and He was redirecting my energy and my time and my life to this mission that we now have going strong here in Jacksonville. And um, I picked up the phone and called that lady that, that gave her story on the radio and we just connected. And what I really sensed the Holy Spirit was saying to me was a home, open a home, um, a home that feels like a family home. And that's what I kept hearing. And so as I visited with this survivor uh, of trafficking, I said, you know, what is the greatest need that you see? You're out there working in this area now, working with other victims. And she said, it's the need for a home. And so that was a real confirmation for me. And what I did not know and did not understand at the time is that right here where we live, there are hundreds and thousands of, of young ladies that are trapped in, in what we call modern day slavery. These are young ladies that are being sold for profit by their families. They're being sold for profit by dangerous predators that have lured them away. This is the community we live in, and these young ladies are going to school with our children. Um, they're friends with our granddaughter. Um, they're texting with our daughter who's down the hall working on our homework. You know, these girls are all around us, and we really need to care about this in our community. Many of the, the girls that come to us are addicted to substances. Um, they've endured egregious violence. Um, you know, razor blades, knives, guns. Um, many of them have been branded with tattoos. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of sexual violence um, involved as well. There is the use of coercion, which is psychological manipulation and brainwashing. And there's a lot of fraud involved in this in the sense that uh, these ladies are, these young ladies are, are given false promises like, I love you, I'll take care of you, um, I'll be your family, um, you know, I'll make your dreams come true. In 2013, when we were founded, I asked the question of the people that were involved in the anti-trafficking movement here in Jacksonville at the time, you know, what happens to these young ladies? You know, well, you guys are going out and doing these operations and these stings and stuff but where do the ladies go and honestly no answer came except a shrug and I really understood that my calling and the calling of those getting involved with her song was really to step into that space in our community and create a conduit for these victims so when they're coming out of trafficking they actually have a safe place to live they have food they have shelter they have clothing they have lots of love and support they have trauma counseling they have they can meet learn to meet their own needs you know and be empowered to live out to discover and then live out their god-given purpose i'm just amazed at the outpouring of support from from you guys and what you have given to us um, with your gifts last year um, we were able to support our safe house operations for more than six months um, and that is a huge praise for us we were so excited um, to receive that gift and and um, it's hard to put into words you know the depth of gratitude that we feel towards you for um, your kindness and your generosity and and your willingness to be rich in good deeds since be rich last year um, we've actually opened a new home Home. and you guys are now sitting here with us inside this beautiful home um, that has been such a gift to her song and to the the young ladies that we serve and um, the, the amazing thing is that in early in the year you know we sat around with our board and we said you know what is what is it that we need to do this year what is like that one thing that we need to do um, and we all felt very strongly that we needed to open another home because we get hundreds of referrals for the very limited beds that we have at, at our other safe house. And we knew that we needed to continue to grow and expand, and it was gonna take faith. We knew that we could not do this um, without, without God. 
You know, it's funny, we just emailed out a newsletter and then we mailed out a newsletter and one of them bounced back to us with a wrong address. So we ended up calling this lady saying, you know, gosh, we need to update your address. You must have moved. And she said, yeah, and while I have you on the phone, could you use a house? And, and you know, so isn't that just like God? He's always working um, when we have eyes to see, when we're prayerful and we're looking. And so you're sitting inside a home that was gifted to us um, by one of our donors. And um, we have been able to launch a new program here that's focused on economic empowerment, which helps women achieve their educational goals and achieve their career goals while saving money so that they can move towards self-sufficiency and independence. And it gives me great pleasure. And um, honestly, I have a lot of pride to be able to introduce you to one of our ladies that has um, graduated from our intensive residential recovery program, which we run through Freedom Cottage. And she graduated and was the first resident in this home that we're sitting in. And I could not be more excited about what God has been doing in her life. Um, she has been going to college and she is a really great student. Um, she's been working in a law firm. Um, she's really been saving up a lot of money. She was able to save up money so that she could buy a car this last year. And um, that is just so exciting to us. But I think more than anything, just watching, watching her um, walk with Jesus is, is just a thrill. Um, that she is uh, a prayerful um, young lady, that she is opening the Word and studying that, that she is surrounding herself with godly counselors, and um, I'm really excited to introduce you to Janice and let you hear more about um, the purpose that she's found. Being at her song, you know, starting out just kind of um, complete strangers, you know, and it has a uh, over time definitely developed into so many different relationships. It's almost like they have um, brought into my life something that I had missed out on for a long time. You know, um, as far as a mentor, you know, spiritual mentor, um, a mom figure, you know, somebody to um, just give me guidance, you know, in life. They, they've become my family and, you know, family by choice. And I think that that's just something that's so amazing to me. And, and we've built, you know, lifelong friendships. and. Uh, healthy, healthy friendships, you know, and that's something I've never had. I didn't know what that looked like. I didn't know what that felt like. And, you know, for a long time, I was almost waiting for like the ball to drop for the catch to come because I just didn't know what, what love looked like in a healthy way. Her song has given me this, um, foundation, just this rock foundation to stand on, you know, literally when I started um, my educational journey, you know, that was really scary for me. And I think a lot of my past and my trauma um, and the lies that I believed about myself for so long started to surface back up, you know, to stop me in my tracks. Um, but, you know, their, their, them speaking to me was louder than, you know, the enemy's lies. That was what he was telling me, you know? And I just kind of needed that affirmation and that, and that extra push and that, um, just that cheerleading that they bring to my life, you know, when I just want to give up because things get hard, you know, and I get scared and I doubt myself and I don't think that I can do this. Um, so I, I, I went back to school and, you know, since I've been in school, I've been on the dean's list every semester. I've been awarded scholarships for academic excellence. Um, not only that, but I have given, been given the opportunity, you know, despite my past and despite my record, um, to work in a law firm, you know, to work in a professional environment and be seen as that, you know. I, I'm not seen as what I did and, and where I was um, enslaved in for so many years. You know, nobody sees me like that today. And, you know, that's such a, a, a blessing and a gift to me. You know, my, my opinion has value today. Being able to be a productive member of society and, you know, not wonder how I'm gonna take care of myself because I'm fully self-supporting today. You know, that's something I never thought um, would happen because I was just dependent on people for so long. You know, they were, they were everything to me. And for me to be able to stand on my own two feet and, you know, feed myself, you know, buy things that I need and save money, you know, for a future, um, you know, past her song is, is something that is just such a, a gift and a blessing to me because I never thought I'd be able to obtain that. Without a doubt in my mind, would I be here today? You know, if I ever, if I never came to her song, I wouldn't be here today. That's for sure. And um, not just that, but, um, you know, embracing the word of God, you know, applying it to my life. 
um, living out what I believe is, you know, God's calling for my life. And not just that, but letting his word and his truth abide in my heart, you know, and in my mind and, you know, learning how to love God with all, um, with everything that I have. Because, you know, when I fully grasped the concept of what happened, you know, on the cross and, and what was, what was uh, completed, you know, that just changed everything. It, it changed my perspective. It changed my worldview. It changed, you know, everything in my mind and in my heart, you know, it's just beautiful, you know, and I can't, sometimes I can't even describe it or just like put it into words, but, um, you know, the things that he's done in my heart and in my mind, you know, if I think back, like who I was two years ago, I was this lost, scared, broken, you know, person who didn't believe she was worth anything, you know? And today, to be the woman that I am, the woman I believe I am, not just that I am, but, but who I believe I am, you know, has just changed everything.